Hi everyone, welcome to Life Means Simply. My name is Nikki and today's video I'll be sharing with you my updated desk decor. I do work from home and I did just share a haul on things that I got. So as requested, I will be doing a tour. Since I work from home, I do like my desk area to look really neat, be organized, as well as look really pleasing to the eye. So I redid my desk for the new year and I really wanted to share it with you guys. I did just share a haul on things that I purchased for my desk. It's like a girl boss must have, so be sure to check out that video as well. But today I'll be sharing with you just the tour. It's gonna be really simple and quick and I want to share with you how I organize everything as well as decorate it. My desktop needed a makeover, so it's some marble contact paper, a YouTube DIYers miracle product, my boyfriend helped me cover my IKEA Mickey desk, and it was really easy to do and didn't cost a lot at all, smoothing out as many bubbles as possible. This was an easy furniture upgrade. You can watch my latest video on DIY furniture flips and how to refresh your home decor to see how you can also do this. This desk also has a hole to help you run your cords through there and keep them nice and neat. Starting from the bottom, my pattern rug is from Target. I use it to separate the area and my chair has some adorably cute chair socks to keep them from snagging my rug. My chair is the ever so popular ghost chair, but it's not the comfiest so I have a chair cushion which helps with my back and my posture and especially for nights when I'm working for long hours at my desk. Below my desk is a storage organizer I got from Michaels to hold my planner accessories, notebooks, some craft paper, and my printer sits on top. I normally store my camera bag here and my bag holds various tripods and lenses and my other tech accessories I need for my videos. On the side of my desk, I store my flat lay backdrops that I made myself. You can also check out my video on how to do this. It's really easy. This desk has two spacious drawers. I use an IKEA organizer to divide everything as neatly as I can. It gets kind of crazy sometimes, but I recently just cleared out the right side. Onto my desktop, to the right I keep my binder I use to manage my channel as well as the best desk lamp ever. I pull it out when I need it and it's really handy for the nighttime. My monitor sits on a box. It was only a couple dollars from Michaels. I flipped it upside down and it keeps my desktop nice and neat. Next to it is my new external hard drive which I think looks so amazing next to the white box like it's seamless. If you're interested in anything you see here, I'll have them linked in the description box below. For my laptop, I propped it on the top half of the box and it not only cools off my laptop but protects the marble contact paper from the heat. I love working with two screens. My laptop is connected to my monitor via an HDMI cable. I still have plenty of room on my desk to write down things on especially my to-dos for the day. In this corner, I have my live succulent plant and some pens that I got from the Target dollar spot. I also have my 100,000 subscriber milestone recognition in the meantime until I get my silver play button and also my mic that I use for voiceovers. Above that I have my tip out drawers for various things. I also spray painted it rose gold. My calendar hangs above it. I like how simplistic it is. I use it as my content calendar with some sticky notes. My clock is from Target. I love how this looks with the wood. And below my clock, I have a corkboard square. I have it covered since I have some super secret projects I'm working on for 2018. All exciting things, but I use it as a vision board to remind me of my goals. Even though I don't have a big space or a designated office room, I love my little workspace where I get a lot of my work done. I hope this inspires you and reminds you that you don't need a lot or spend a lot to get your perfect workspace area and organize and design it just how you want. See the description box for links to the products and other desk tours and DIYs. That was my updated desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and be sure to check out my previous desk decor videos. I'll have it in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!